up guys this is my new Kyosho STR Evo truck as you can see and as I move around the truck you can see a couple changes they made from the previous truck and I made another video but you couldn't really see I was in the house, and now I'm outside. The rain calmed down a little bit. But I'm going to start with the front of the truck. And as you can see, new plastics on the arms. Supposed to be a lot more tough. Um, as I was told, they use, more pla they use more carbon instead of plastic in the arms. So that gave it a little bit more beef. Throughout the whole truck, all the plastic. So, just start with the front. These are plastic on the um, this housing, the case. Front shock tower, gun metal, looks amazing. Uh, new dog bones on the uh, outer ends of the, on um, both sides of the dog bones. It's thicker because that's usually where they break and crack at, so it's a lot more better. New shocks, new threaded shocks. Basically the same bore and length as the last shocks, but the new thread is way better at the track, especially if you want to just get them really precise with the thread, you don't have to go putting the black spaces in there anymore, so it's a lot better. Gunmetal looks amazing. Gunmetal parts throughout the truck. You can't really see, but... Oh, you can't see it, but yeah, the brake disc, or the MP9 style brake disc, the smoother braking, more consistent. New MP9 motor mount for lower CG center of gravity. New filter supposedly catches more clay and dirt, whatever it's kind of truck you run on. It's amazing. Feels great. Uh, as you can see, the truck is really built the same as the SCR Evo, but there's really no changes you need to do with the truck since it was a 2007 based truck and it was beat in 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011 trucks and it still is winning. Why change? Oh, let me go back up here to the, the front turnbuckle spindle type deal, what you want to call it. They come with the stock one like that. I will change it. That's what I'm going to change. I'm going to change that. And also it comes with the um, the outer hinge pin captured now. No eclipse right there. They still run the eclipse in the um, inner part, but that shouldn't be a problem. And in the future, I will change it. And I was told to use Shugu if you do have any problems with it to help it stay in. Yeah, the truck is amazing. Um, going to the rear. As you can see, the plastics, like I said, are a lot more dull now. It's not shiny because they use more carbon. New mud guards, they look amazing. They're molded on perfect. No more have, having to deal with trying to make your own and then they're breaking off during the race. They're built on the truck itself, so thank you for that. A new rear shock tower looks great a lot of holes in there to adjust the truck the way you like it the new rear body mount looks good and I don't have my body here with me right now because I sent it out to get painted the new rear wing mount uh, six eight millimeters higher eight millimeters to the rear for more downforce, and as you can see, it runs the um, the MP9 wing, which looks makes this truck look amazing.
from the side view looks good. I'm gonna go to the bottom of the trunk. We've got metal chassis. Looks great. We've got metal flywheel. Now you can see it. Good. Yeah, the truck built well. They changed the parts that needed to be changed. I just hear artists talk about the STRR versus the Serpent on the forums online, and you can't compare the trucks yet because the Serpent is so new, and the record is so the record that the Kill Show has is amazing. The winds and everything, electric to nitro, so. I wouldn't compare this truck to the Serpent yet because you really haven't even seen this truck run yet. And yes, T Bow and King runs this truck, but this is the complete change to it. And I'm pretty sure they run the updated parts. And as you can see, they're still winning races, electric and nitro. So I wouldn't compare those two trucks. We all know which one's the better truck. Um, I would have a video following this up. Um. For track testing, as you can see, it's raining. I'm in Florida right now, Deland, and my local track is in um, Daytona Beach East Coast RC Club. You can go check that out at www.eastcoastrcclub.com. You can see the race days posted on the site. Any events that we're having, electric, nitro, race short course, four x four two-wheel drive, trying to get short course buggy out. We have a pretty good nitro turnout, but trying to get more. So just go on eastcoastrcclub.com and check out the race days. And if you want to come out and race, I'll be happy for you to come out and race. And we all will be happy for you to come out and race. So, yeah. But this is, oh, yeah, yeah, wait, wait. They have the new internal. I forgot because you can't really see it, but the internal gears are now straight cut hard and steel hinge pins supposed to be a lot more tough the whole truck is revised from front to rear now, I wish you could see the body but I don't have it with me right now and that looks amazing matter of fact I was going to get a picture of that right now this is how the body will look and that's how it will look all together. So, yeah, it looks good. But, back to the truck. The truck's built exceptionally well, like I said, and it's going to do its job. This is it for that Kyosho STR Evo. Over and out.